Okay, so let's look at uh, question 13b. So this triangle is, uh, this similar triangle question is drawn a little bit differently. So we first sort of need to take a look at what we've got here. So we have a small triangle here that I'm going to mark in in red. Okay, and then we have a larger triangle, which I will mark in here in green. Okay, but the difference here between this and the previous question is, in the previous question, we could see the two triangles as being separate already. But in this case here, the two triangles are sort of embedded one into each other. Okay, so the way I'm going to look at this question, just to kind of make it a little bit easier, is we're going to separate out the two triangles, and I'm just going to resketch them here on the side. So we're going to ha we have our small triangle, which I'll draw here in red. Okay, and its dimensions are 10, 6, and 8. Okay, and then we'll switch over to green. And then we will draw the larger triangle. Okay, so I'll make it a little bit of a larger sketch. Okay, and the dimensions of this triangle <clears throat> contain the things that we need to find, the unknowns here. So the X and the Y part. So the long side here, or the vertical side here is X. The, the total length of the distance here is going to be 4 plus 8. Okay, so the distance here is 12 for the length of the big one. Now, the, the part that's tricky in this question that, we'll get, that gets a lot of people is that what is the length of the, um, the hypotenuse here, or the slanted part? Well, it's not just 10, because the 10 is the short piece in the triangle, but it's actually y plus 10. Okay, so now we have our two triangles here. They're both right triangles, so I can mark that in. And now we can set up <clears throat> our equivalent ratios in order to figure out um, how to calculate things. Okay, so the easiest value here to calculate first is to look at the x value. So again, we're going to go small to large. So um, the way that I can set this up is we can go 6 over x. Okay, small to large is going to be equal to 8 over 12. Okay, because our, our ratios are going to be the same here. So... Um, um, the small side to two small sides are in proportion that's our one ratio and then our the two sides that we know we have two values 8 to 12 are in proportion so then I can just cross multiply here I'm going to have 8x is equal to 6 times 12 which is 72 so x is equal to 9 so that gives us our missing value for x here which we know will be a 9 so the question is, what about the y value? Okay, so we need to calculate what y is equal to here. But it's a little bit, just a little different because of the way that the expression is set up here. So again, we'll, we can work it out the same way. We're going to go small to large. Okay, so the small side here, first of all, is 10. Okay, and uh, the ratio from small to large is going to be 10 over the length of the large Piece. So the large piece is given by an expression y plus 10. Okay, so that's what makes it a little bit different. And then we're going to use the same ratio we used before, um, small to large. So that's going to be 8 over 12. Okay. And then what we got to do here is just cross multiply. And then we are going to end up solving for y. Okay, what is the value of y? And then once we know y, we can go y plus 10 to figure out what the length of that other piece is. So to do this question, we will need to um, do a cross multiplication. So we're going to go 10 times 12, which is 120. Now this one here is just a little different. So I'll take an extra step here. This is going to be 8 times y plus 10. Okay, so then we have a little expression that we have to expand here. So 8 times y is 8y plus 80. Um, 8 times 10 is 80. Okay, and then what we can do is we need to isolate y. So to do that, I have to subtract 80 on both sides. Okay, so we're going to subtract 80 here and then subtract 80 here. So let me just move this up to the side here. So 120 minus 80 is 40. And plus 80 and minus 80 make 0, but then I'm going to be left with 8y. And then I have to divide by 8 on both sides. Okay, so that leaves me with y is equal to 
the number five. Okay, so that's how long, um, that's the value for y, but the length of that thing is equal to actually five plus 10. So if they asked you how long is that side, the answer would be equal to five plus 10, which is equal to 15. But I think in this case, the question is just asking what is the value for x and y? So we could say that we've solved it here. So x is equal to nine, and then y is equal to um, five. All right, but the solution for this is just a little different just because of the way the, um, the triangle is drawn and then how you have to split up the small and the large triangles and then just kind of work out your ratios. Okay, I always just go small to large, but you could go large to small. It, it, it won't make a difference. It's just that um, your, your variables would be reversed. Instead of having um, six over X, you would have just X over six. Okay, and you'd flip, but you'd flip, end up flipping both sides. So as long as you're consistent, okay, either, no matter how you look at it, it'll all, all work out to be the same way. Okay, so that's how you would look at uh, question 13b.